Thousands of Christians from all over the world gathered early in the morning on Easter Sunday for a sunrise service at the Garden Tomb in Jerusalem to remember Jesus Christ's sacrifice. The Garden is a Christian holy site which many believe to be the place where Jesus died, was buried, and then rose from the dead. Another highlight of the holiday is the traditional Good Friday procession, which retraces Jesus' steps along the Via Dolorosa, the Way of Suffering. Other events include solemn masses, processions at the Holy Fire Ceremony at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. King Abdul II of Jordan and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas have agreed to exert joint efforts to protect sacred sites in Jerusalem. Reports say the two leaders have reached a consensus on how to defend Jerusalem from what they call as being Judaized. For his part, the Jordanian king has renewed his support to the Palestinians in gaining their own statehood. Israel has occupied the east part of Jerusalem since 1967. The Palestinians and Israel have long been at odds over East Jerusalem, of which both want to claim as their capital. Finally, doctors treating former South African President Nelson Mandela are reporting a further improvement in his condition. Mandela was admitted to hospital last week for pneumonia. In their first detailed report, doctors said Mandela had developed a pleural effusion, but he is now believed to be able to breathe without difficulty after doctors drained excess fluid from his lungs. Meanwhile, thousands of South Africans have been praying for Mandela at Easter church services over the weekend. This is the second time Mandela was hospitaled in one month due to a reoccurrence of his lung infection. That's the latest news. For CRI, I'm Mark Cavigli. This is People in the Know. A weekly program for in-depth coverage of the news shaping China, the world, and your life. Now here's your host, Zheng Cheng Wang. Chinese President Xi Jinping has concluded his first overseas state visits to Russia, Tanzania, South Africa, and the Republic of Congo. The destinations included in the president's first overseas visit speak volumes of the importance of these countries in China's foreign diplomacy. China and Russia have been long-term strategic partners. President Xi's visit to Russia this time has consolidated bilateral ties and laid tracks for deeper cooperation in the fields of energy, technology, and military. President Xi's visit to the three African countries is a testament to the rocket-solid friendship shared by China and the African continent. The Chinese president sent out a clear message that China will continue to be a staunch supporter for the continent's development through financial aid and personal exchanges.